There's some beautiful plant-based types of protein. These include nuts and seeds, also your fermented soy products like tofu and tempeh, also your whole grains such as quinoa, and all your vegetables also contain lots of protein too. Vegans and all individuals need different amounts of protein. Um, this depends on their age, underlying medical conditions, also things such as pregnancy and activity level. So it is best to always talk to a professional to get um, a baseline for your individual needs. As a baseline means a protein for an individual, it's around 50 grams per day. Um, you can easily reach this on a plant-based diet. Uh, a simple meal of vegetables, beans, lentils, nuts and seeds will give you around 20 grams per meal. Individual following a plant-based diet is unlikely to consume too much protein. If you do, the body will just excrete it or utilise it as an energy source. People who do suffer from underlying medical conditions uh, such as kidney disease do need to be careful of their protein intake. Um, this can usually be measured uh, quite easily with the support of your naturopath or doctor. It is an individual choice if you'd like to supplement with a protein powder. Most individuals on a plant-based diet will get enough protein if they are eating a varied diet. Individuals who do have food allergies or food intolerances or are restricting their diet for personal reasons, you may benefit from supplementing with a plant protein. And some beautiful ones out there now include brown rice protein, pea protein and hemp protein. So if you do choose to supplement with a plant-based protein, keep in mind um, individual sensitivities. If you do have any underlying um, sensitivities to FODMAP foods or do suffer from gastrointestinal conditions such as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, look at the different choices for you. Sometimes pea protein might not be a good choice for those conditions and you may want to consider a brown rice protein or a hemp protein. Also keep in mind some people do react to grains as well with underlying inflammatory conditions so then a brown rice protein might not be the best choice for you uh, but you do have a, a wide variety of options. Some common deficiencies seen in individuals following a vegan diet include vitamin D, also iron, B12, zinc, and also sometimes your omega-3 fatty acids. If you do choose to supplement with these nutrients, it is advised to check in with your naturopath or doctor yearly just to get a checkup as things do change year to year. So depend on your age, your activity level and any other medical conditions. Also, if you have a restricted diet, you can then supplement accordingly.